Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be doing, I believe, a body code demonstration with Adriana. Um, who knows? It could turn into emotion code, belief code. You never know what's going to come up with this. But I believe I know an idea of what we're going to work on. Adriana will fill us in. And then um, we're probably going to be on body code, but we'll see what happens. So, Adriana, before we get started, tell us a little bit about you, because I know you're doing some really cool stuff these days. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I am Adriana. I'm a huge Giants fan. I've been my whole life. And over the last couple of years, I moved to a new state and a lot has happened with the Giants. So I decided to take my passion for the team as a fan and use that with my social media day-to-day -day experience. That's my career. And put it all together into something fun. So I cover the New York Giants on social media. I have a podcast. And over the last couple of years, I have grown it to over 11,000 Instagram followers. I've had um, Mike Greenberg from ESPN on my show. I had the former offensive lineman on. So I am working on building that into my new career. And in the process of that, I am working on removing some limiting beliefs and things like that, that I believe are preventing me from getting me to where I would like to go. Yeah. And that's what we did on our last session, right? We did um, belief code working around that kind of thing, which was great. But today we might go completely off of that, right? Because did you want to work on what did what was it you wanted to work on? I'm not going to say in case you changed your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So something I've been struggling with is acne. And it's been interesting because it is not consistent. It started happening every few years um, for about the last eight years or so. It kind of comes up out of nowhere. And it's the cystic acne that's taken over my face. I have makeup covering it up now. But it's it's been very challenging to deal with. And I'm trying to figure out if there's something in my body that is causing it because it's not consistent and something that just comes up for me every over these few years um, that just kind of causes it to go haywire. So um, one of the things that I had talked to Linda about is, is there anything that we could maybe release in the body and see if that kind of makes any changes for my acne? Right. So it's probably a mixture of both. Usually it is. I mean, it always is. Right. But there could be a lot of this energetic stuff behind it because it is comes every so often. It's not like you're changing mm -hmm. your diet all the time. Right. Um, so there could be a lot of this emotional stuff that comes up under the surface that you're not even aware of. You're like, well, nothing's going on. Why am I breaking out now? Um, but I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to share my screen. I want to pull up um, body code. Let's get this out of here. Right. And let's go here. Okay. So I'm going to put us down here. There we go. Now, what we'll do is, well, first, so, so we know what we know what we're looking for. The, the sub pretty much acne. Um, let's just take a moment of silence first, right? Just to bring in, you know, God, the healing energy and uh, spirit, all that good stuff with us to work together through me with you and just really bringing that energy present okay and i want to make sure that i'm testing here is adriana yes okay linda no adriana okay so now i'm just going to start off by asking you know like which of these codes is it that would be best to start working with so would it be best to work with emotion code to start no okay but body code yeah okay so we're getting body code now belief code will come in if it needs to with the body code. And sometimes with body code, we just get these single beliefs that come up as despair anchors. If we hit those, you know, I'll talk about that at that time. Um, you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay, because you, you know the process. I'm going to be right, left, right, left all the time, checking, testing with this finger. And um, it'll take your subconscious mind will take us wherever <laughs> we need to go because it knows what's going on. You know, our conscious mind just can't uncover these things for ourselves um if it could it would be easy right but it's all subconscious stuff so let's see where to start here we're going to look for something on the right on the left right side on the left side energy oh look so we're starting out in energy right off the bat okay all right 
uh, something here on the right, and it's on the left, posterior right fence. So we're going into this area here, mental. Uh, right side, left side, will too, no broadcast. So there's a broadcast message, right? It's like a message that keeps just going out to the world. Uh, let me just make a note here. Right this way, I can send you these notes afterwards, and it keeps me on track while I'm doing this work. So let's look for this message. There's going to be, okay, six rows. So would we find this in A, B, C, odds, C odds, one, three, five. So in C5, we have make me suffer, uh, make me surrender, punish me, reject me, rescue me. I've got to put my glasses on. So we have rescue me energy. Now it could be about anything, right? But and all the energies that come up here will be directly towards the focus of today's session, which is the acne, how it comes and it goes, and you know how to once and for all be rid of the whole thing. So we've got mm -hmm. this rescue me energy. So I'm going to ask if there's anything that your subconscious mind wants you to know about this, right? Is there anything we need to decode and cover about how this came about, what this rescue me energy means? No. And so can we just, is there something associated to it? No. So we can just release that message. All right, so I'm just going to three swipe it away. Ooh, got the shivers on that. Good. And three. All right. Thank you. Thank you, God. Love to give gratitude for the healing. All right, good. And and me, I personally just always give extra light. Uh, not everybody does it that way. Okay, so did we release that? Yeah, released it. Good. So what do we have next? Something more, of course, because obviously we're not done with this yet. Body coat. <clears throat> Back to the beginning. All right, uh, right, no, left, energy, oh, circuit system. Now we're going in the body. Uh, right side, left side, a disconnection in the system, no. So we're looking at a body cycle or rhythm right off the bat. Uh, circadian, no, diurnal cycle. Now let me just make a note here. Ooh. Diurnal cycle. So there's, you know... It associates with the meridians, these different cycles, a repeating cycle every 24 hours. And we're going to see which of these cycles this is affecting, right? So oh. would it be the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, pericardium, triple warmer, gallbladder, liver. So we're looking at the liver meridian. Uh, that's 1 okay. to 3 a.m., The liver cycle. All right. I have to brighten up my screen. That's why I'm having trouble reading here. Okay. So this is what we have here. Is there anything we need to know and understand about this? No. And is there something else associated to it? No. All right. So we're just going to reset the cycle by doing the three swipes. And you can swipe along with me if you like, right? Okay. One. Oh, feels good. Two. Three. All right, so, okay, so we reset that. Um, so this liver cycle here, uh, it's the best time for deep sleep and dreaming. People with imbalance often wake up during that time. Do you find that to be your your um, experience at all? One to three mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes it's because of my dog. Okay. <laughs> sometimes she just wakes us up for no reason. Um, and sometimes I have noticed, I'm like, I don't know if this is just me getting older, but I remember used to always sleeping through the night. And now like I wake up and move because I'm uncomfortable. Something like that wakes me up to move to another position. Okay. And that could be throughout the whole night or you find it more in the one to 3 a.m.? I don't always check my phone, but it always feels like it's in the middle of the night. Okay. And I usually go to bed by 11. So I would assume that it feels like that timeline is probably pretty accurate. Could be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's, well, we can ask. Well, that's right. We don't need to know. All right. So let's go back to the beginning here. I want to spend as much time as possible getting everything we can get around this. So we have something more. Um, something here to the right. No, it's on the left. And it's in, we're back to the energy area. Okay. Uh, left side, left side, no, right side, allergy, emotional. Okay. So right, no, left, a trapped emotion. So there's a trapped emotion here. So, you know, body code will bring in trapped emotions. 
as soon as I saw trapped emotion as an option, I was like, it has to be that. <laughs> you felt it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, now let's see what kind you have. So is it something for the right? No, it's on the left, prenatal, pre- oh, it's an inherited one. Okay, so let's find out what the motion is. And here we go. You can see them pretty much. Okay, so is it A, B, on one, B1. Uh, effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity, overjoy, vulnerability. Oops. So I have inherited vulnerability. Um, was this inherited on your mom's side? No, it's dad's side. Okay. And did he inherit it? Yeah. And did, uh, from his dad, from his mom. And did she inherit it? Yeah, from her mom. No, from her dad. All right. Does it go back more than 10 generations? No. More than five. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight generations of this going on, right? So you don't have children yet, so we don't have to test for kids. And you know, your yeah. siblings may have gotten this, you know, who you know, doesn't matter how many, because we're gonna clear for everyone. So when we have these inherited trap uh trapped emotions, um, once you clear for you, you're clearing for everyone. It's it's pretty amazing how, and I know that to be true because I've seen it in my own family when I clear for my son and he wants to work on something that I had already worked on. He doesn't have anything from me, only from my husband. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it's pretty amazing. All right, so we have vulnerability and we're just going to swipe this one out. Now, is there anything else we could possibly know? No, there isn't. So we're just going to release this. Okay, and there's 10 of these. One, oh, yeah, two. Three, thank you, God. Four, five, um, six, ooh, seven, just clearing for everyone along this timeline. Eight, nine, and ten, this generation line. Ah, good. I want to add a whole lot of extra love because I love to do it. Okay, so we've got that. That's released. All right. I mean, like, who would ever think? That's why this is so cool because you you normally we just want to work on this physical stuff, but there's always energy involved. All right. So what else can we get? We want to cover lots of stuff. Where are we? Body code. Okay. Right. No. Left. Energy. Circuit systems. Okay. To the right. To the left. Uh, disconnection in the system. Okay. Not on the right. We're on the left. Let's see if we can see them all. Is it integumentary? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's skin and hair and nails. Okay, oh. so this, let me just write this down. Uh, okay. Uh, on the right, on the left. Skin, right? Makes sense. And we're just going to reset the skin, but there could be other things associated with it. So we're going to see, you know, where it takes us. Okay. Uh, all right, so we pretty much understand all of that. So is there is there anything else we need to know, understand, decode around what's going on with the skin? No, because you know everything that's going on with it. Is there something else associated? Okay, so now we have an association. So when we get back, we're going to be um, resetting. I'm just going to write it here now. And I just want to give a little space in my notes. Okay. So, a little more space. So let's go back to me. I keep wanting to touch the screen. I happen to be on a laptop right now, but I go back and forth between these. <laughs> okay. I'm always all over the place with it. Okay. <laughs> so we need to find what's associated to this. So what else can we find here? Something on the right? No, it's on the left. Energy. And then in circuits and systems again, toxins, no. Okay. So circuits and systems. Uh, to the right, to the left, disconnection, no, something in the system, okay, uh, something on the right, no, it's on the left again, okay, so is it integumentary, no, urinary, skeletal, muscular, no, uh, respiratory, reproductive, something with the reproductive system, Okay, we're going to see where that wants to take us. Okay, so female. Uh, right, left. 
uterus, fallopian tubes. So it's taking us to some kind of imbalance with the fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. And again, you're like, really? This has to do with that. <laughs> it's crazy. The complex system. All right. So there's really nothing we need to determine well, except for which side it's on. So uh, is this affecting the right side, the left side? I mean, we could come back again and have it on the right as well, but there's some imbalance on the left side. Okay. And is there anything else we need to know and understand? No. Is there something else associated? Yeah. So, but when we come back, we're going to um, reset this left side, right? But not yet. Okay. Back to the beginning. All right. So to the right, to the left, um, energy. Okay. Right side, left side, post traumatic, offensive, no mental. Okay, on the right, on the left, a will to, a no will to. <laughs> so you have no will to something. We're going to find it on a chart here. Interesting. Yeah, see what that is. Sometimes it surprises, sometimes it makes sense. Mm. Okay. So there's seven, seven of those. So we'll, if we'll find this in A, B, so it's A. Odds, evens, two, four, six, a six. Uh, no will, no will to win or succeed. No, to commit. No, take responsibility. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that could, and that again, that could be anything. But let's see if we need to know. Do we need to understand any details around how this came about, what this energy represents? No. Is there something else associated to this? No. So we're going to get rid of this no will to. Then we can reset the fallopian tubes and reset the skin. Okay. Okay. So this one we're going to be releasing. All right. So let's do that. Okay. So we'll just, and each one of these are three swipes. So we're going to just release the no will to. Take responsibility. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. Now we want to reset the left side fallopian tubes. Two, oh, three. Nice. Reset. Yes. And now we just want to reset the skin. One, two, and three. Ooh, okay. All right. Thank you. So we got that too. So those are all done. We move on. What else can we get? Calling up all the energies we want to get the things that make the most difference. I like to call them up to the front, right? Because we don't know how much time, how much we can get done in the time we have, if we have to come back or anything like that. So let's go back. So right side, no, left side, energy. All right. Not as much in the body so far. Okay. To the right, no, it's not. So it's to the left. Is it post traumatic, offensive? No, it's in the mental area. To the right, no, to the left, a will to, no, to, so another broadcast message. Hmm. What are we going to get this time? You know what that is, the energy that goes out, the energy is going to come back in, and there's six. So is it in A, B, C, odds, one, C, one. Is it... Um, Abandon me, leave me, no, abuse me, attack me, betray me, control me. Huh. Mm. I guess sometimes you feel like you're being controlled by this uh, acne, right? <laughs> like, yeah. I know. Yes. Well, I, I had it a lot. I, I told you before this session, and on my mostly on the left side of my face, breaking out all the time. And, you know, I'm in, I'm, I'm in my 60s now, right? And this was still going on. I didn't have it when I was younger, but I had it now. Anyway, uh, working with the body code, gone. I get a little thing pops up now and then, and that's it. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So control me. Now, anything else we need to know and understand about how this energy came about? No, we don't need to know. So we're just going to release it. Well, hold on. Is there something else associated to it? No, just release it. <laughs> Jumping ahead. <laughs> Three. Oh, okay. That felt good. All right. Okay. Got it. Are you sensing any of the energy? A little bit. Yeah. I just got like a little head shake. <laughs> okay. You never know how it's going to present. It presents all different ways. Okay. Here we go. It's kind of fun when you feel it, but it's not even necessary. Okay. So something more 
to do with the acne? What do we need to know? What do we need to release so that this can be clear and, you know, yesterday's story? Right side, left side, energy, circuits, toxin. All right, let's get rid of some toxin energies. All right, uh, right side, no, left, um, dental, biological, food, drug. Okay, uh, right, no, left. You haven't been here yet because we haven't, actually, this is the first time you're doing a body code with me. We did more belief code work and other things in the past. Yeah, this is so interesting. <laughs> All the different things. I love this stuff. Right side, no, left side. So it's a medication. So this, this would be a prescribed medication, okay? And it's just, it's probably just the energy of it. Are you on any mm. medication now? I just started an antibiotic for the acne, actually. But I wonder if it's, I was on birth control for like 10 years. Okay. Well, so we'll what is that? If we need to know what it is, we'll ask. Okay. Um, but it could be anything. You could see here, pain killers, antibiotics, antidepressants, antihistamine. It could mm -hmm. be anything. Anyway, so it's a, it's a medication. Um, is there anything else we do need to understand, know, and decode around it? No, we don't need to know. We can ask, okay. um, is this the current medication for the acne that you're on now? No. Oh, another thing I want to ask too, is this physical? No. So it's energetic. So your body already processed out the medicine but the energy of it left behind, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's what this is. So this is energetic. Okay. Down. All right. Um, is there anything else, we, anything we need to know? We don't need to know which medication, but we can ask, does this have to do with being on birth control pill? Okay, we got birth control pill. Mm -hmm. And you know, that couldn't tie in right to the skin. Birth control. All right. Is there something else associated with it? No. So we're just going to wipe out that toxin energy. Okay. Okay. Getting goosebumps on it. One. Okay. Two. Three. All right. Good. Got it. All right. Got that. Okay. Back to the beginning. What else can we get here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So right, no, left, yes. Energy. All right. We're bouncing around. To the right, to the left. Post-traumatic. Okay. A couple of different things Ooh. here. Uh, right side, left side, physical term. This is a physical, emotional shock. Okay. okay. So I, I'll, you know, I'll explain to you what that is. Um, you know, it's like when something emotional happens that is like shocking enough that you feel it in your body. Mm. Like I had this, like, you know, my sister passed, I had, I had to release this type of stuff to do with the energies that I was experiencing with that whole thing. And I even had shared energy of that physical, emotional shock because it hit quite a few people at the same time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. That, that would be a shared emotion is when more than one person, just like an inherited thing, more than one person get that same energy at the same time. But this is just a regular physical, emotional shock. Uh, you'll see here a vibrational frequency that can become stuck in the body during something emotionally shocking, some event that's severe enough to, to give some kind of stress to the physical body. Now, mm. we may not need to know what it is. Do we need to know any details about what this is? No. But if you have something in mind you want to ask, you know, if anything popped in your head, we can see if that's what it was. Mm. I it's it's interesting. I have like a couple ideas, but they were so far before the acne started that I don't know what it could have been. Like I was in, you know, a car accident when I was a kid that I, I don't remember the accident, but I remember like very vividly when it was over or being taken to the hospital. I feel like I had a neck brace on, you know, I had a bad breakup after college that you and I worked through. It could have been that could have been when my parents separated when I was in high school. Those are the things that I that come okay. to mind. So let's ask if it's any one of those three. Oh, I got a yes. Okay. And I also have goosebumps running too. So it is the, the first one accident when you were a young child. Is that what this was? No. Does this have to do with the breakup? No. With your parents when they split for a bit. Yeah. There you go. So shock around um around your parents. Um what do you want to call it? Separating for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're happy to say they're they're happy together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was only okay. temporary. Uh, all right. So I spelled separating wrong. There we go. <laughs> um, 
so that's what this is about. Is there anything else we need to know about it? No. And um, is there something else that is associated with it? No. All right. So good. So let's just wipe out that emotional shock. Ooh, I could feel that one. Oh, very much too. Okay. And three. <sighs> Thank you, God. Thank you for that. Release that. Good. Okay, good. Got it. Oh, I felt a little lightheaded on that one. Good. You have water there, right? So you can drink. With yeah. You. Okay, good. Um, yeah, because I find when I start getting too much out there like this, I need to drink. I need to ground myself. Um, but let's continue. All right. So we have something more. Yes. Is it to the right here, to the left? Energy. Energy. Right side. Allergy or intolerance. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, on mm -hmm. the right. So it's on the left. It's on the right. Now you can have an allergy to anything because it's all energy, right? But let's see what you have here. Is it an idea allergy, a physical allergy? No, an idea allergy. But you can have a oh. physical allergy to to anything, to, an, to anything. It doesn't have to be something that's um, actually physical within the body. Okay. Okay. So... So here's these different idea uh, allergies that it could be, right? We're gonna we're gonna use a chart. Let me just write here. But don't read any of those. I don't want it to be uh I don't okay. want to influence. So we have idea allergy. Okay, see what it is. What do we have? Six, seven, seven rows. Is it in A? It's in B odds one, three, five, seven. B seven and is it to a specific role? No. A relationship dynamic or role? No. To being visible? No. To goals? No. To work? No. And even exchange of energy? Mm. Okay. So are you someone who can do favors for everybody, but you have a hard time letting them do it for you? Or Sometimes, yeah. I, it feels like a little bit of a burden when I have to ask people to do things. But you would like hop in a second to do it for them. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's the kind of a thing. Or even like with money, like, <laughs> you know, some like my mom will put out money for people all the time, not want to take mm -hmm. it back. And someone puts out money for them. She has to stuff it in their face. She can't have them not <laughs> take it back, Right. So there's like not an even exchange of energy. Mm -hmm. so let's ask, is there anything? Anything we need to understand, know, and decode around it. No, so we don't need to know, but it's that type of a thing. Um, you know, so, okay, so this has to do with all the acne, but say even with the work that you're doing, um, you you want to have, for all that energy you put out there, you want to be able to receive mm. the reward of that, right? So you'd want to make sure that you don't have any of that kind of energy hanging around. Um, so in some way, this even even exchange of energy the allergy to it is somehow affecting what's the breakout, right? And it happens only now and then. So it seems like it is very much more of an energetic thing, but body stuff will, I'm sure, will be popping in more. Um, all right. So anything else we need to know? No. Is there something else associated to it? No. So we're just going to, what we're doing is like we're correcting the, um, the faulty connection to this idea of even exchange of energy. Right. It's like okay. it's not really hidden to where you can just have that even flow. There's some something in the way of that. So we're just going to um, correct this faulty connection here Two, <laughs> and three. Yep. Nice. Let's just load you up with some extra love there. Right. Because we can just ask God to load you up. All right. So we got that. So we corrected that. Corrected the, I'm going to put it there, faulty connection, because it's the first time you're seeing all this. This way you can see the notes. And I, you know, I'll put in little um, bits of information as to what each one of these things are, so you'll remember when you see it again. Okay, so we got that. Yeah. Is there more? Yes, there is. Okay, we corrected that. Let's go up to the body code. Come on, back to the beginning. Okay, more, yeah. Right side, left side, energy. Okay, uh, right, no, left, right, no, left. Okay, so is it post -somatic? Okay, no, mental. Okay, we got mental. Right, no, left, will to, broadcast message. 
they come up a lot. Yeah. And I feel like they've all been mostly different too. Yeah. <laughs> With the body code, it 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 doesn't, you know, because you did belief code and you could see how the beliefs kind of all make sense to something, right? But with mm-hmm. body code, it doesn't, it's sometimes it makes n- absolutely no sense at all. Mm. Uh, so, and that's kind of fun <laughs> because then you see yeah. clear up and you're like, whoa, who would have thought that all of that stuff made the difference? Um, so we have something more. Now, what am I doing? We got the broadcast message again. Yeah, let me make that note. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do we have? All right. Is it in A and B and C uh, odds? One. C1. What do we have in C1? Uh, Okay. Abandon me, leave me, abuse me, attack me, betray me, control me, betray me. The energy of betray me. Now let's see if that we have to know anything. Um, is there something to decode here? No. Anything to know about how this came about? No. Is there something else associated to it? No. So this, however, this betray me energy. And if you have any ideas, you you know, I can always test it. Um, but association stuff. So we can just release it. Okay. One. Two. Three. All right, good. Thank you. Did we release that? Yes. Okay, so that's released. All right, so back to the beginning. All right, here we go. What else do we have that we can release regarding the acne? What can we bring up so that this whole situation disappears? Right side, left side, energy circuits. Okay, circuits and systems. Uh, On the right, on the left. A disconnection. Nope, something in the system. Disconnection is interesting. You can have body parts that are you know need to communicate, but they're not. They're disconnected. You can have a spirit body disconnection, like not all of your spirits in a particular organ or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of cool things there, but yeah, we're in. We're back in the system here. Okay, uh, on the right, on the left. Okay, so we have integumentary, urinary, skeletal, muscular, respiratory reproductive so we're back in reproductive we could be somewhere new or not okay uh right and the left uterus fallopian tube right side fallopian tube right side and we're evening you out okay because i believe it was the left people right mm-hmm All right. Is there anything to know and understand decode here? No. Something else associated to it? No. All right. So let's just reset the fallopian tube. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, God. Resetting the fallopian tube. All right. So we're reset there. Okay. What else can we get? Uh, right side, okay. Left side, no. Right side, yes. Pathogen, a misalignment. Okay. Uh, something here on the right. It's on the left. So it's on the right. No, it's on the left in the system. So now it's a misalignment of some sort in the system. Right side, left side, integumentary. So we're there again. Left side, integumentary. Okay. So there's a misalignment. All right, so let me let's see what that is. Okay, on the right, on the left. So we're back to the skin again. Hmm. But this time it came up as a misalignment. All right, so this time we're going to be correcting the misalignment before we did a reset. Um, is there anything we need to know and understand about this? No. And is there something else associated? No. Okay. So we're just going to realign the skin system. (laughs) That's what it wants us to do. Correct the misalignment. All right. So one, 
two, three. All right, got it. Okay, so that's corrected. All right, well, that's interesting. You know, I mean, sometimes I've had it before where maybe I'm aligning a bone or something like that, a muscle, and we do a whole bunch of other stuff, and we have to come back to that again after having shifted all the energy in somewhere else. Mm. Um, so this just came in two different ways into the system area. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, we'll just keep realigning that skin all, as many times as it is. <laughs> So right side, left side, right side, no. So it's the left side, energy, circuits, toxin. Got another toxin. Okay, it's on the right this time, not the left. So it's on the right, a heavy metal, excess, electromagnetic, right? So it's uh, EMF energies. And there's a bunch of different types. Okay. This is something on the right side. No, it's on the left. Dirty electricity. X-ray. So some X-ray energy. You've probably had X-rays. Even dental X-rays is X-ray. Oh. Okay. Um, anything we need to know and understand about this one? No. There's something else associated to it? No. So it's just some X-ray energy. Just that energy somehow got trapped. Okay. One, didn't totally process out of your system. Two three <laughs> okay it's released you know i keep thinking that, that that you've seen this all before only because i've worked with you in different ways but there was other things i used to do you know and now we just did just the belief code session right yeah oh no we also did heart wall we did the motion code so this is the first time just in the body code i think it's interesting because there are some either i don't know whether overlap is the right word but some of the stuff from here the heart wall and the belief code are all coming together like under the same umbrella like to me it all comes back to limiting beliefs and they're just showing up in different ways in all three yeah. sessions like yep. the the one that we talked about before um where'd it go the even exchange of energy is like a perfect example of how that has come through in other ways of like not feeling good enough and that type of thing with the belief code. It's uh -huh. it's wild to me how it just, it, it comes through every session, but I kind of feel like with each one, I'm getting through to it in different ways that are helping just eliminate all of it. Or like, yeah. I didn't know there were so many layers to it. Well, and that's what makes it so magical because, you know, you wouldn't logically put this together. Right. Yeah. But the energy will lead us there and, and we'll just pick it all out. <laughs> yeah. And because, you know, we're, we're, we've doing, done these right. sessions within the last couple of weeks, it's like bringing up, you know, it's like attracts like, right? So it, these things are in, connected. And so we're finding that we're and you're seeing that, which is cool. I think there was, I don't know if it was with the um, heart wall uh, or was it belief code? I think something about your parents uh, split at that time. Didn't that come up? Yep. It did, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um, we have more. Yes. Okay. Something to the right. No, to the left. To the right. No, to the left. Energy. Okay. I was going to say something, but I'm going to wait just in case we see it here. Um, okay. See something here on the right. No, something on the left, right side. No, left side. Okay. Post traumatic offensive mental. Okay. And is it on the right? It's on the right. No, it's on the left. Okay. Oh, another will to. Okay. Before I bring that up, I'm going to show you that if we landed here on programming, we might have had to do a whole belief code within this whole session. Oh, say so this one are the single beliefs that might come up. This is like an image that could trigger something. I helped a girl okay. get rid of allergies just by finding the image that triggers her. Right. And the image wow. would be like buds, buds blooming first. As soon as she sees buds on a tree, full blown <laughs> allergies. Mm. And so we cleared that. And like during the call, she stopped sniffling. 
and she felt she could breathe. <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. Yes. I have had sessions where, you know, the body code takes you into belief code as one of the associations that you have to clear. And, um, you know, it, it can, you can go all over the place, but we're not there right now. We are here at uh, a will to. So let's see what this will to is. A, B, odds. Okay, so one, three, five. Is it the will to be abused? No, to punish or harm yourself, to hate yourself, to suffer. Will to suffer. We're like, I don't want to suffer. Why would I have a will to suffer? <laughs> Do we need to know any details about where this came from, how this energy came about? We don't need to know it. Uh, is there something else associated to it? No, not even an association. So wherever it came from, whatever it is, we're just going to wipe it out. Okay. One. Two. Okay. And three. Oh, yeah. Okay. That felt good. Extra love there. Got it. All right. So don't need to suffer. Don't need the acne to break out. We don't have to punish yourself, right? That kind of thing. Mm. Let's go back to body code. Okay. Um, is there more? Yeah. I mean, we could be done for all we know, right? I got to keep asking, is there more? So something here to the right side, not to the left side. Energy circuits, okay. Right side, left side, right side. Is it an organ, gland? No, we're looking at the energy body now, right? So this takes you into chakras, meridians, aura, spirit body. I mean, the body code has it all. It's all in here, <laughs> Any aspect of you is in here. Um, so where do we need to be? Uh, are we on the right? No, we're on the left. Spirit body aura. So we're going to be resetting your aura, but we have to see if there's anything else that needs to be done first. Okay, so you know what your aura, your energy all about you. Um, okay, so we already know what this imbalance is. Is there anything else we could possibly have to know? No, but is there an association? Yeah, yeah, there is. I, I find that. Pretty often there is an association here. So okay. we're going to you know, reset that. But first, uh, there's an association. So let's find out what that is. Okay. This is the association on the right, it's on the left. Oh, it's energy. Okay. Uh, right side, right side, left. Offensive mental. Not the right, it's on the left, will to. Now we have a no will to. Okay, so it's the opposite of a will to. There's no will to, you know, it could be I have no will to heal. It could be anything. Mm. But there's a chart that we'll go off of though. Okay, is it in A? It's in B, odds, evens. Okay, two, four, six, B, six. No will to obey? No, be powerful, protected. No will to be powerful. Well, we want you to be totally <laughs> in your power, right? So we have to. That's get an interesting that. one. Mm -hmm. And no will to be to be powerful to step into your ability to heal yourself, right? Could be could be anything. Could be with your business. Could be anything. But right now we're looking at the acne, right? Okay. Did something come to mind on that? I was thinking more towards career. Okay. Than the acne. But I guess that's us. probably all tied together. Is there anything we need to know about? We don't need to know about it. But is yeah. this no will to be powerful? Is this connected to her, you know, her stepping into this whole new career? No, it isn't. This is okay. to do, you know, the healing of the acne. Yeah. So somehow, some way, you know. And who knows where it came from, but do we need to know? No. Is there something associated? No. Okay, good. So we're just going to clear the no will to be powerful. And then we're going to reset the aura. Okay. Okay. So first we're just releasing this no will to be powerful. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> That's release. You know what? Let's just download for you what it feels like to be, to step into your power, to know that it's safe for you to step into your power, to um, move through this place of power with anything that you're doing. So we want to download that into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, all timelines. 
Just really soaking into every single aspect of you and holding that energy of what it feels like to be in your power. All right. Woo. Okay. All right. I'm spinning on that one. So, uh, so we release the no will to be powerful. I'm going to have to drink something in ground. All right. But I also then, oops, downloaded. Um, what it feels like to be fully, I don't remember the words I said, fully in your power to be powerful. Okay, so we did that. And now we have to um, just, let's reset the aura now that we did all of that. Okay, so one, um, two, just resetting your aura, making it nice and beautiful. Okay, good, there, thank you. And just adding a whole lot of love to all of that. Got it. All right, good. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, something more. Yeah, what, what time is it? Oh, we're good. We're good on time. Do you have to rush off for anything? No. All right, good. Maybe we can just go through it however long it takes. Let's see. All right. All right, so what's next? Something more here. Yeah, there's more to this whole thing with the acne, more energy to release so that you can just fully heal that. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're looking to the right. No, it's on the left. Energy. Oh, circuits and systems. Where's it going to take us? All right, right side, left side, no, right side. Organ, gland, energy, body. Okay, we're back here again. On the right, on the left, no, so on the right, chakra, it's a meridian. Okay. A main meridian, extraordinary. So we're in a main meridian, and there's a bunch of them, right? So, oh, wow. Uh, is it on the right? It's on the left. Okay. So is it the stomach, bladder, gallbladder, liver meridian? Now, we had the diurnal cycle before, so mm -hmm. we have liver meridian now. Um, and this explains a whole bunch of stuff about the, the meridian. I'm, I'm not really going to go through that right now with you, but if you're interested, okay. I can just do that later. Um, you can have fatigue, headaches, temper, dizziness, dry, blurry eyes, hormonal or menstrual mm -hmm. cycle, uh, issues, um, trouble detoxing, cravings for alcohol and cravings for greasy food. All right. So that's some of the things that could occur with this, right? Okay. All right. So, um, is this imbalance? Is this on the right, on the left? So it's on the left side. Let me write this down before I don't. Okay, so we're at the, um, we have a main meridian and it's a uh, liver, right? Liver meridian. Um, okay, is it right side, left side? Right side, left side, left side. Okay, anything else we can know about this? No. Is there something else associated with it? No. All right. So we're just going to um, either we're going to balance the flow, reset it. What are we doing here? Yeah, we're going to balance the flow of this liver meridian left side. Okay. So okay. One, two, and three. All right. Okay, good. So that's balanced. All right, I just need to drink because my energy is a little too expanded at the moment. Okay. All right, so let me just do this grounding thing. Ooh, did I show you that the last time? If you need to ground, take no. Your there's a mudra. I don't know the mudras, but a friend of mine taught me with hand mudra like this, but you put it under your rib, right under your rib cage. Oh, you just intend to ground deeply into the earth, right? You could feel yourself having those roots going deep in the earth, really pulling you here into present time hmm. in the moment, fully alert, fully aware. Yeah, so when I do that, I feel myself really come back in my body because sometimes while I'm doing all this stuff, I get so expanded. Okay. And if I do that, I might start testing wrong, right? So I have to make sure I stay good and mm. focused on what I'm doing because 
the testing is going to go wherever the intention is. And if you're like scatterbrained, <laughs> it's going to get messed yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I we got all that. that. Okay. All right. So we so we balanced that. Yes. Okay. So what more do we have? Is there more? Yeah. Okay. So something on the right here and on the left, right side, no left side. Energy. Okay. Let's look there. Um, right, no left, right, no side. Post traumatic offensive, not mental. Uh, right side, left side, no, right side. Is it a memory field? Programming. Ooh, oh, let's see what happens. Right side, left side, despair anchor. So it's a it's a single mm. single belief. Okay. It? Yeah. Let me just write this down. All right. Will it be an A, B, C? So B odds evens two b2 um is this it's like a, a statement a belief whatever you that your subconscious mind believes is true and we're at b2 is it i'll be rejected no i'll never be accepted uh i'll never be forgiven i'm a fool <laughs> interesting <laughs> i'm a fool right i'm a fool what it will fall down. Do we need to know anything about how this came about, when it came about, anything like, no, we haven't had to decode anything. I know um, it's crazy. Is there an association to it? Not even association. So wow. we're going to release this, but I'm a fool. You know, it, it, how did it hit you when you heard that? Well, it's funny. I, my initial thought is it's, it sounds kind of silly and it makes me laugh because sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? You know, like if I get a stupid comment or something like that, it's not enough to deter me, but it makes me feel for a second, like I don't have the right experience to do this. So why would it work out for me? But the other thing is, is when I've um, done tarot card readings, or like I've seen recent videos that have popped up that have aligned with what's going on in my life. They all show the fool card, every single one of them. All right. And and in tarot, the fool card, it means all good things are coming your way. Like it means you're headed in the right direction. Yeah. It's interesting. So let's wipe this out. I'm getting goosebumps the whole time. So everything you're saying, this is resonating, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then when you, when you get that, if you get that feeling again, like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm a fool to think I can do this or whatever it is, right? Just mm -hmm. laugh at it. Say, hey, hold on. Remember that fool card? You know what that represents? Yeah. It's just, you're just, you can re, you can reprogram even your, just by keep telling it a new story. You know, belief is just a thought you keep thinking, right? Abraham Hicks. Right. Okay. So let's wipe out I'm a fool. Okay. okay. One, two, woo, and three. Yeah. That's nice. You feel, what are you feeling? It's, it always comes like a little in the head, like a little lightheadedness. <laughs> okay. We got it. It's released. Yeah, that felt good. Um, okay. So we have something else. Yeah. We have something else. So we can ask this question too. Why don't we go there? On this, on the, what we're focused on to our session focused today with the acne. Are we more than 50% complete with this? Yeah. Uh, more than 60? Oh, no. More than 60? No. More than 55, about 55. All right. There, so there's wow. more to be done. So we might not do it all tonight, but okay. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's kind of fun. I was working with another client of mine who I work with a lot and we were doing something and there was like, I don't know, maybe there was like 75% done and 25 more to go. And we're like, oh, we'll just keep going a little bit more. And then we hit this one thing and it, I felt it, a lot of energy blow. She's like, oh my God, can we test how much energy blew off of that? <laughs> wow. It was 15% of the 25 left blew with that one thing. Wow. So you don't know, like, you know, you think I'm only halfway there. Does that mean I have to do this many things again? Well, maybe not. Right. No. Okay. That's crazy. So, so cool. let's do a few more of these anyway. And okay. then we can always pick this up on another session. but. Let's see. Um, what can we do here? So give us something really blow out a lot of energy. Um, we're at the beginning. Good. Over here. So right side. No, left side. Energy. 
see a lot of this so far we didn't really get that much in the body mm. okay uh it's on the right on the left no so it's on the right allergy or intolerance okay emotional rebirth no all right right side again idea no this one says physical allergy okay let's take a look at that so here, I'll just read some of this. So physical allergies are generally created when the subconscious mind makes a faulty connection with a particular substance during either prolonged or sudden emotional or physical stress. This substance then is considered to be an allergen by the subconscious and the body, and a negative response or reaction will occur when the allergen is encountered in the future. So the subconscious mind may create a physical allergy as a protective measure in order to defend you from the stress that it has connected to the allergen. For this reason, you can be allergic to anything at all. Symptoms can include physical reactions of all kinds, as well as immune reactions, such as inflammation, respiratory problems, mm -hmm. congestion, sinus irritation, itchy eyes, and all other forms of hypersensitivity. Um, they nearly always have associated imbalance. You know, we'll test for that. We'll see what comes up. And you can have both physical and idea allergies to the same thing. So we have a we have now this physical allergy coming up here. So we're just going to intuitively see if we can figure out what this is. Let's take a look here. Okay. I think that's really interesting because every time I swear that every time I eat dairy during a certain part in my cycle as soon as I get my period I break out so I've done my best to avoid dairy okay um, so I wonder if this is this could be a big one I wonder okay so well, well let's ask is, is this is this physical allergy what you're speaking of right now because a lot of times the first thing that comes to you is what it is but sometimes mm -hmm. not um so so is this physical allergy, what just came to you now about the dairy stuff? And we've got a yes, right? Dairy, and I'm going to put menstrual cycle. All right. So, you know, is there anything else we need to know, understand about this? No. But is there an association? And there is an association. Oh, okay. okay. So let's find that out. So before we can release, and when we release the allergy, um, you know, we're just we're just releasing that energy of that. We're just letting that go. Okay, correcting correcting the connection to to the whole idea of the dairy. So if you can get rid of that energetic factor to that, the dairy may not even bother you. Mm. Okay, so let's just put here that we cor that we corrected it, corrected it. But like can. that, I, I'd like to eat ice cream without worrying that I'm going to end up with pimples on my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Now, there's something associated. So let's go back to the beginning and find that out before we can actually. And uh, let me put a space here so I don't forget that I didn't do it yet. Okay. All right. So what is connected to this allergy, the dairy, uh, to dairy, what we just connected here? Uh, right side, left side, right side, left side. Energy, okay. On the right, on the left, no, on the right. Allergy or intolerance, emotional. All right. Trapped emotion. Is it on the right? It's on the left. So it's a trapped emotion that is connected to this. Okay. Notice that the, you could have, um, where is it here? You could have heart wall emotion come up here, but we cleared your heart wall. So that's why we keep getting trapped. We only had two or three of them, but anyway, mm. don't expect we'll land there. Okay, so we have a trapped emotion. Is it something on the right, on the left, not on the right? Is it common, shared, it's absorbed? So it was really somebody else was experiencing something and either you were empathic and kind of took it on with with that person or you just happen to be at that vibration that was a it, you could have been vibrating something totally different but it was a match to the vibration of what what this other person was having going on so uh, that's saying. what an absorbed trapped emotion is let's see if i told that to you right um okay you can trap an emotional energy of another person if if the latter is feeling that emotion in a powerful way, right? These are known as absorbed trapped emotions. 
and can have the same effect as any other trapped emotion, right? So I, and I, don't, I explained to you before, but I'll just, whoever's watching the trapped emotion, is just a ball of energy, like the size of your fist, and it's just trapped within your body somewhere, within your system. Uh, they can lodge anywhere in your body and exert a force on your on your energy field, which gives you some you know imbalances and different things that can go on. Okay, so an emotion is likely to be absorbed if it resonates with the, your own imbalances, like something you were already vibrating to, or the energy is overwhelming you in some way and you're taking that on. Like that's like when you're really empathic, you can be affected like that. All right, so let's find the emotion. Okay. So is it on the right, on the left? So is it B, A? Normally I say A and B, but I just said right and left. So B, A. All right. Is it in uh, odds, evens, two, four, six? A, six. Okay. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. So we have a trapped emotion, overwhelm, absorbed. Oh. I mean, that's an easy one to be like a match to, even if it's somebody else's to start with. Okay. Trapped emotion of overwhelm. Do we know, have to know anything about this? No. Um, so we can just release it. All right. So we're going to, is there anything else associated with it? No. So we're going to release this trapped emotion and then we're going to just correct that allergy to the dairy. Okay. One, two, Three. All right. Some light to that. Okay. Ooh, goosebumps. Okay. And now let's correct this thing with the dairy. Let's do that. Okay. One, two, and three. All right. We corrected that physical allergy. Yes. Okay. So this one's released. That one's corrected. Good. All right. So is there something more we can do? Yeah. Let's do a few more. And then we'll ask again how, how far along we are. Okay. Hi. So something here to the right, to the left, to right, to the left. Energy, cert another toxin. Okay, give it to us. Let's get it out. Right side, left side, no, right side. Is it heavy metal, excess, electromagnetic? No, environmental. I'm, I'm on a session. Okay, so we have um, toxin. Okay, so something to the right, no, to the left. Cosmetic, a cleaning product, pollution. Hmm. Okay, uh, right side, left side, air pollution, plastic. So it's air pollution. Okay, it could be from any time in your life. You know, um, all right, I'll spell that. Here we go. Got it. Uh, sources, burning of wood, tobacco, coal, trash, fossil fuels, biological materials such as mold and pollen, methane, carbon dioxide, monoxide, so silver dioxide, nitrogen, so all these different things, right? Exhaust, sitting in the traffic, sure. toxins. Uh, could be from any time in your life. Doesn't mean it's even current, right? It's just an energy that that got stuck. Uh, can exist in physical form as well as invisible energetic. So is this a physical mm. form? It's energetic, right? It's energetic. Um, and they're just vibrational frequencies that were simply unable to be processed. And because of that... Um, because there might have been some other imbalance already, right? So that's when you get this kind of thing. Okay, so anything else we need to know and understand about this air pollution? No. Is there something else associated? No. So we're just going to wipe out the energy of this air pollution, whatever it might be. Okay. One, two, <coughs> three, <coughs> okay. Okay, so that's released. Uh, I needed to put up space there. Okay, so um, something more. Let me, let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Body code. Okay, right, no, left, energy. Side, left side. Post-traumatic. Right. Oh. 
Recovery interference, physical trauma. No, another physical emotional shock. Before you mentioned a few things, right? Mm -hmm. And it was the parents. Car accident and a breakup. Yeah. So let's see. Do, do we need to know any details around it? We don't need to know, but let's just ask about those other two. So was this when you had the car accident when you were very young? No. What was the second one? A breakup. Did this have to do with the breakup? Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember the breakup. Mm. Okay. Mm. How old were you then? 23. Okay. And I think I got my first like real bad bout of acne two years later. Okay. All right. So this had to do with this breakup. Um, anything else we need to understand? No one to code around it. No. Is there something else associated to it? No. We could have had an association, but we don't. So let's release it. <laughs> okay. One, just releasing this physical, emotional shock energy, letting it go, just letting it go. Thank you, God, for taking that from us from you oh nice deep breath on that okay good thank you all right so good we got that okay something more let's get a few more uh, right side left side right side no left side energy okay back to energy uh to the right no to the left post-traumatic offensive mental uh, right side. <laughs> okay. Remember fit programming. All right. Okay, we just released that emotional shock. Okay, good. Okay, so now um let's find out what this one is. Is it on the right? It's on the left. Oh, all right. We're gonna have to take this up. Belief code. Okay. We're back. <laughs> and this makes sense. And I tell you what, I had a feeling that we were going to be hitting like all of this, all of mm. it, ocean code, belief code, body code. So the thing with this is that could take like a whole, a whole hour in itself. So maybe what we do is we say, we save the belief code for another session, right? To do it okay. and then continue with the body code. Okay. I mean, so sometimes they go quick, like a half an hour, and sometimes they take a good hour or more, depending on what kind of belief code you get. Like if you get mm. like a parallel, there could be three parts to that, three whole systems. Wow. Um, it could be a partial. But why don't I why don't I ask what type it is? Okay, so we have a we have a whole belief system that is connected to the acne, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it a basic belief system? No. Okay. Is it tangled? Okay, split, parallel, partial. Ah. You know what? Oh, how do you feel? Do you do you want to keep going or do you want to split it up into another session? It's up to you. I I have oh it's 540. Um I do have more time. Um you know what? Let, let, let's put it, it let's put it off so that, that we don't feel okay. Because I do have another client coming up, and and I I don't know that okay. this, this might just take a little bit too much. So we know we have a belief code. Okay. So prior to this belief code that's coming in, um, let me put it like a line here. <laughs> okay. With all that we're doing here for, and, and you know this belief. Let's well, hold on. Are we more with this whole thing to do with the acne? Are we more than 50% complete? Yes. Are we more than 60%? Yeah. More than 70? Yeah. More than 80? No. Uh, more than 75? No. But are we 75? So we're like 75% complete. Okay. And it could just be that the belief code, you know, what what comes, it could take a while for that, but what comes with that might just be um, the end of it, but we could wind up back in the body code. You just never know. Hmm. So, So we'll take it up again in uh in another session you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just i'm gonna just uh stop sharing my screen okay good all right so <laughs> it's kind of fun i had a feeling yeah. we were gonna have belief session come in because we could have checked for it even separate but since we're working on it body code's like no we're gonna bring it in right now your subconscious mm -hmm. mind this is all part of the same thing so um 
We'll have another session and we'll dive into that belief, whatever it is. It's partial belief. So, so to explain that, it's like when you've done a lot of work on yourself, usually what you find is, like, I find it for myself, that I'll have some straggler beliefs. You know, the whole thing with the belief code and how it's this, we look at the tree system, right? Negative programs are the leaves and the branches. You've got the limiting beliefs in the trunk. Then you've got the roots, which is like a faulty core belief, and the soil, which is a faulty core identity. And all of that makes the belief system. And so you take it out, right? And and give it away somewhere. But you left, say there were like some branches that were like, laying on the ground you didn't clear them away some logs on the ground that didn't get cleared away so they're just kind of hanging out so you can have a bunch of different beliefs from all the work that you've done on yourself where you've cleared mm. things but there's some little stragglers that could be hanging around that's what this is okay you might see it as like a regular system with just parts of it missing or it might come in as just a, a stack of random beliefs so okay. rather than that, I want, I'd like to like really take our time with finding what those are and then going back into the body code and finishing off the whole thing with acne. Um, so we'll just finish that in another session. <laughs> okay. All right. So how do you feel though after doing that? Good. I, I got a lot of the like lightheaded thing, which is, it's just crazy. I feel it right away. Like it's so cool. Yeah. It, you know, not everybody sensitive to energy, but it's fun when you are. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to feel it. I like feeling it. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe you feel like something's really happening when you can feel something, but mm -hmm. really you don't have to. Some people don't feel anything, but they notice the shift, the changes that happen in their life. Um, all right. So we'll end this here. We'll take it back up again um, later on. <laughs> okay. And we'll just do a continuation, which is fun. We'll just have a part two to this whole thing. Um, yeah. So I look forward to doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. All right. So let's just say goodbye to everybody for right now. Okay. Um, thank you for being and for allowing me to video this and you know put it out there to the world, right? Because it will help other people to see how this works and to to know that what the outcomes could be. Yeah. I think so it's I, helpful to see the whole process too. Yeah, yeah. All right. So thanks for that. And uh we'll thank catch you. you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.